Okay, hi everyone, uh, Daryl here. So this is uh, lesson 34 in my YouTube playlist, Investing 101. And today we're going to talk about long and short positions. Okay, so uh, you guys may have heard about long and short positions when you trade in the stock market. And uh, when you go long or go short, there are terms that we use, terms that are used when we are dealing with, with stocks. So um, uh, as you guys know, I uh, invest in like property and stocks. So uh, I'm actually more well versed in investing in stocks uh, for that matter. But um, I'll share more with you guys on how to trade and uh, what are the positions which I've taken and all that. So I need you guys to actually understand uh, all these other terminologies which I am providing in my last few uh, videos as well as this as well as the ones that are coming up. Okay, so um when you long or short a position in a stock, uh, it's actually a reference to length. So when you long a position, it's when an investor, let's say you think that uh, a particular company is going to do well uh, in the long run. So then after you take a long position, that means that you're holding on to the, the counter, the stock for a substantial period of time because you think that over that period of time, right, you will be able to make money. So you when, when we say go long, that means that uh, you are uh, you are in a position to hold the stock for a long time. Okay, so a uh, short position is when an investor does not hold the stock but instead owes the stock to someone. Uh, this is something uh, may be a bit foreign to some of you guys, but I'll try to clear what is a short position uh, in the next uh, next slide, slide or next slide or two. So a short position is when an investor does not think that the stock will do well in the long run and uh, he decides to short the stock. Okay, so uh, long positions are generally more common. So if you, let's say you open a trading account with uh, maybe any local brokerage, if you are trading in uh, the Singapore Stock Exchange, if not, then let's say you're trading in the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ, right? Then you open a, uh, well, if you're in Singapore, you most probably will be opening a custodian account uh, with uh, some brokers. And then you must make sure that these brokers actually allow you to trade on the US stock market. So uh, long positions are more common, that means you just purchase the counter, you just purchase the stock and then you sort of wait for it to appreciate uh, in value over a period of time. Uh, so if you, if you buy a stock and hold it for a long period of time, you are said to be in a long position. Uh, the period of time, long period of time, right, uh, varies from people to people. That means like uh, for myself, a long period of time is something like uh, maybe more than a year. But for a day trader, right, a long period of time will be like, uh, if you hold it for more than a couple of days, to him it's long period of time. So this this is a bit uh, subjective. So uh, sometimes when we talk about it, we talk about longing the stock. So you long the stock, that means you, are, you think this counter is going to do well, you purchase and you hold it for a substantial period of time. Okay, for a long period of time. Okay, then um, a short position is when you think a certain stock will drop in the near future and you borrow the stock and sell it and buy it back to return it when the price is lower, thus pocketing the difference. Okay, so when, when what we do is that if we think the price is going to go down, we short, we short the stock. Okay, so what does it mean? Okay, let's say you think that uh, currently, uh, let's say Apple, Apple is actually trading at about US dollars, 200 at about uh, currently. If you think that Apple will drop in the future to maybe $150, what you can do is that um, you can borrow the stock. That means I don't have the stock. I don't own any stock of Apple, but I can borrow it from someone. So I take it from somebody and I borrow this stock and I sell it now. So I sell it at uh, $200. And what happens is that when the stock drops, I uh, purchase it back and then after that I return this stock back to the person. So all this guy is doing right is that uh, he just wants uh, his stock back. That means that if he has one Apple stock, he will lend it to me and I will just have to return him one Apple stock maybe uh, within a certain period of time. So, so long as I borrow the stock from him, I must return. Whatever you borrow, you must return, right? So I borrow the stock from him and now the stock, uh, and I see the stock market is trading at about $200, so I sell it for $200. Then when it falls to $150, I buy back the stock. So I spend $150 to buy back the stock and then I, I return it to this guy. Okay, so you lend me your stock, right? I return it to you. So what, what's the difference that I make? I make uh, US dollars, uh, $50. Uh, so that's how you make money in a falling market. 
Okay, one thing is that uh, sometimes you may see people say covering the short. Okay, so what does it mean to cover your short? So if let's say I, I borrowed the stock and I sold it for like uh, $200 and then um, instead of the price falling, right, the price continues to appreciate. So if the price appreciates to like, um, let's say 220 or 250, right? Let's say it's 250, then uh, this guy is asking me back for his stock. So what I'll do is that I no choice. I have to cover my short position. So I have to purchase back the stock at $250 and then return it to him. So I would have made a loss of $50. So <coughs> um, if you don't leverage, right? Uh, you don't have to uh, worry about all these sort of things. But if you leverage, whether it is longing a stock or shorting the stock, right? Your losses can uh, multiply, uh, can be uh, a lot higher if you borrow in multiple. So if you leverage uh, 1 is to 20, so uh, you your losses will, be, will also be multiplied by 20 times. So uh, this covering your short, cover your short is when um, the stock goes in the wrong direction that you are shorting. So you expect it to fall and then it's going up then you have to cover your short. Okay, so this is what people mean by covering your short. Okay, so uh, uh, long and short positions are useful strategies that will enable traders to profit in both an uptrend or a downtrend. So it's not just that uh, because the market is moving up, then we long the stock. But then when the market is going down, right, we can't do anything. We can actually use short positions to take advantage and make money in a falling market. So uh, this also helps to explain why market trends and why certain movements occur. Uh, if you may actually see that uh, when there are a lot of uh, short covering, that means people are covering their shots. I'll explain uh, about like uh, short calls and long calls in future. So uh, when you see that people are covering their short, then the market will, move, will trend in a certain way. Okay, so it actually helps to explain why certain movements occur. So you must understand long and short positions. Uh, some people, they will take uh, long and short calls, which is they put options and this will be something which I will touch on at a later date. Okay, so um, just understand what is long and short positions and uh, appreciate that in a falling market, uh, we can also short uh, certain stocks which we think that will trend downwards uh, to make money in the stock market. Okay, so uh, that's all for me uh, for this lesson and I'll see you in the next video.